Good evening, everyone. This is Travis with CoCab, watch collectors of California and beyond, with another full watch review. Tonight, we're going to be looking at the Folio Stratonaut GMT. I did want to mention I'm not earning any compensation for this review. I was given this watch on loan, and I will be sending it back at the completion of the review. Do me a favor, please uh, comment, subscribe, and like to the YouTube channel. That would be greatly appreciated. Just a little bit of brand info as we are opening the, the case up. And by the way, this leather case is just amazing. You see the branding there on it. Uh, Folio was founded by Izzy Alsafa, who got his love of watches from his father. Uh, one cool thing about the brand is all the watches are fully designed and assembled in America. So that's pretty cool. Uh, the name and logo basically come from horological history. The company was named Folio after the old clock escapement called Virgin Folio. Um, that was the predecessor of what we now know as the balance wheel and pellet fork escapement that's in wristwatches. And the logo is derived from the physical appearance of the Virgin Folio escapement. So just a little bit of uh, kind of brand info and history. So the case I was sent had all three versions of the watch in it. I'm wearing one of them. I have the black version on. This one is the gilt version. Set that to the side. And then this one is my personal favorite, which is the blue dial, which is just absolutely beautiful. You can see it catching the light there. So lots of uh, gorgeous design on this uh, dial and chapter ring and bezel. It just all comes together very, very nicely. These are limited editions, so I did want to mention that. Uh, model 001 is the gilt one right here. This one is limited to 50 pieces. Model 002 is the blue right here. This is limited to 125 pieces. And model 3, the black, is limited to 50 pieces. So that's the different versions that you have. Um, each one has the model number and limited edition number on uh, the back. So you can see exactly what you're dealing with there. This is basically a watch for world travelers is what they advertise it as. Uh, we'll see real quickly. You got the normal time. You've got the GMT time. You've got the GMT hand that extends to the other side of the watch, which is really cool. So instead of having to convert 13 o'clock, you can look over here and see that it's one o'clock. And then you also have a adjustable bezel. So all of that working together, you can see the plus and the minus right up here, telling you how many hours to go plus or minus. You can basically use this to track five different uh, time zones. So that's kind of a cool feature of this. So this is basically for world travelers. Uh, it does have the, the basic looks of a classic dive watch overall. Um, it does have water resistance rating to 200 meters, so you could go diving with it, uh, but it's not technically a, a dive watch. So some of the basic specs, pretty impressive. We've got the height or thickness, let me turn it here, at just 12 and a half centimeters. That includes the boxed crystal. You can kind of see the, the crystal uh, right there. The weight is 178 grams or 6.29 ounces with all the links. The diameter is 41, it's advertised as 41. When I measured it, I came up with 41.2, but basically around 41 uh, at the case. And then the bezel is slightly less than that at 40 millimeters. So it's a little half millimeter inset on any uh, side there. Lug to lug is a little bit tapered. Um, and so you'll see if you look at it here that it tapers from, from the edge on in a little bit. But it goes from basically 47 and a half to 48 millimeters uh, lug to lug. And then lug width for the strap or the bracelet is 20 millimeters. These are made in America. Uh, the warranty on these, they do have a 14 day uh, refund or exchange for any reason. And then a one year international uh, warranty. Looking at it through the, the crystal, well, first thing we, we see is we've got a scratch resistant sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating. So that does a great job of uh, giving you a clean view of uh, the dial and everything. As you look at the dial on this one, we're gonna see the blue sunray dial. We've got the applied indices, the incredible loom, which we're gonna look at here in a little bit 
on the, the bezel, the chapter ring, the indices, the hands. That is one of the things, especially on the, the blue one and the gilt one, you've got the chapter ring that's also got the loom all the way around it. On the black one, you'll see that is not the case. It still has amazing loom, but it's not full loom on that chapter ring. So that was one little difference uh, between the different versions. Has applied indices for all the hours except for the three o'clock where the date window is. And you can see that uh, the six, nine, and 12 have extra wide uh, indices, which is pretty common with most of the, the watches. The hands are all centrally positioned. The minute and hour hand are fully loomed and framed with a non-loomed triangle tip at the very end of them. You can kind of see those there. Back up a little, there we go. The seconds is a straight line with a loom triangle on the tip. The GMT, of course, is the red hand, and it has the framed loomed triangle on the tip of it. And then, of course, it extends to the opposite side of the watch, which, uh, when combined with a chapter ring, provides a quick and easy conversion from 24-hour time to 12-hour time. So that's pretty cool. The date window is a classic rectangle-shaped uh, date window. You've got the position at three o'clock and it has a black background wheel with white uh, numerals. So looks good there. The chapter ring, as we talked about on two of them is uh, full loom. On one of them, it's not full loom. Uh, it has white with black numerals on the blue and gilt. And it's just the opposite on the black. The 24 hour enumerations with minute markers and five minute markers are all around it. You can see around the entire exterior of the chapter ring there. It also has a very cool bi-directional 24 click rotating bezel that feels like it's a ball bearing uh, going into place. So it's uh, really nice. I'm gonna be quiet. You can listen to the actual click. So it kind of just falls right into place uh, very nicely. The grips could be a little bit better. As you can see, they're pretty uh, small, very little grip there. So at times I find myself struggling just a little bit as I try to do it. This one's going pretty easy right now, but at times it'll slip a little bit. So that'd be one thing I would say to be aware of. Uh, they are stainless steel bezels with a sapphire insert. Part of why it looks just so gorgeous is the, the sapphire insert there. They are tapered uh, just a little bit. You can see on the side, especially, well, Looking inside, I think that's actually the chapter ring you can see is tapered a little bit. The bezel, not so much. It looks like it's nice and flat. Uh, does have a 24 hour loomed bezel and the even numbers are illuminated, as you can see. And there's a loomed plus and minus at the 24 hour spot, which again is used to uh, adjust your time plus or minus however many hours that you want. Does have a 12 o'clock um, little kind of red uh, rectangle right there to kind of help you orient for the the top and, and 12 o'clock position. The crown is in the three o'clock position. Let's take a look at it. It is nicely um, logoed there. Let me grab a polishing cloth. I got a little bit on that there. There we go, that looks better. Um, it is round with approximately 60 grooves you can see again, it's a little bit on the uh, smooth side on the grips. Not quite as much grip as what I would uh, like uh, on that. It's about seven millimeters diameter and about three millimeters wide. It is signed with the logo again. Uh, the screw down helps keep it waterproof. And here's one of the really cool things about this watch. Let me unscrew this here. So it pops out and notice that red warning. So if you've ever heard of someone going swimming and they forgot to screw their crown down, this has a nice bright red warning. It goes all the way around the entire crown stem there to help you remember to screw your crown in. So I thought that was a really cool feature and benefit of uh, this watch. There is uh, no crown guards. So just if that's something you're, you're liking, this does not have crown guards. I think it looks great without them, but I did want to point that out. The material is uh, 316L stainless steel. Pretty common there. We do have some polished and brushed finishes. And then I wanna look at the case back. Case back is kinda cool. It's very, um, I would say simple in its design, but because of that, it really highlights the, 
the large logo right on the back, which I think looks great. Uh, it is numbered and engraved. You can kind of see right there above the logo the, the number of each watch. And as you go around the case back, it basically says Special Edition Stratonaut GMT, 200 meter, 660 feet, anti-magnetic, USA assembled, Swiss caliber. And it does provide screwed down access to the movement with six little round indents there you can see if you were wanting to get into uh, the movement. The lugs are drilled, so that's always nice for changing the bracelet or straps or whatever you might want to do there. Lug to lug is about 48 uh, millimeters, as mentioned before, with the tapered lugs. I don't think we've looked at that yet. You can see how the lugs actually taper down. So that's going to give you a little bit of comfort in uh, wearability, so I really like that feature. They do have the 20 millimeter lug width, but then that does taper down to 16 millimeters by the time it gets down to the buckle. So that's kind of a cool feature there. It looks really, really good. The bracelet is also 316L stainless steel. It's 20 millimeters at the lugs again, tapering to 16, and it does have screwed links. You can kind of see them right there. So that's pretty cool. The clasp is neat. I want to show you this. Um, you've got a double clasp protection system here. Let me open this up. You can see right here when you push this, you've got both sides that have to release in order to open this. That gives you a little extra protection. The other cool thing about the clasp is you've got a easy adjust right here that slides in and out for up to eight millimeters of immediate adjustment with no tools needed. So I thought that was a really cool feature of, of this watch as well. And now we're gonna get to one of the most exciting parts of this watch, which is the loom. I'm gonna go ahead and charge it a little bit extra here with a black light. Then I'm gonna shut off the light and just let you revel in, in it. Let me go ahead and set this one over here so it gets a little bit of it too. It just looks absolutely amazing. So let me shut the light off here. There you can just see them glowing. Just beautiful, beautiful loom. You've got the chapter ring, you've got the bezel, the hands just literally glows. I mean, it actually gives off light practically. You can see as you move it around. It's it's pretty impressive. Turn the light back on. This is a C3 Swiss Super Luminova Loom. So it offers the superb readability as I think you could see when I turned off the lights. Um, just amazing there. The movement, of course, one of the most important things that powers everything is an ETA Swiss made 2893-2, and the cool thing about it is it, it is adjusted in-house to in six positions to chronometer specs, so it's very, very accurate. It does have a 50-hour power reserve, which is something you'll definitely appreciate if you go a day or two uh, without wearing it. It's 28,800 vibrations per hour, and it is hacking, so just a fantastic uh, movement. The packaging, let's move to the packaging. I'm going to set the watch off to the side here. You can see the, the three spaces for watches that we already looked at. I want to show you the rest of this. This is one of the most impressive packaging systems that I have uh, ever seen. Let me clean some of this up here, put those in there. So we're going to slide this down a little bit. Here you see you've got another, uh, just a place for a little polishing cloth, multiple straps, Three leather ones, I believe it comes with, if you just order one watch, it comes with one vegan leather strap and then one uh, of this style. Um, so that's pretty cool. Close that back up. And then inside here, we have some goodies. Another little pouch. And it comes with actually a little like toolkit here for, for taking off uh, links or uh, adjusting it or taking off the strap or whatever you need to do. This is this is pretty cool. These are nice looking logo branded uh, tools for there. And then um, let's see. Oh yeah, some of the extra tips for the tools. 
And then in here, we've got a little thank you note from Izzy, which is very nice. Some sketches, it looks really cool. Specs, all kinds of good stuff. And just an amazing, uh, very full kit that I think they just did a fantastic job on. So wanted to make sure to, to point that out to you. I'll get some of these watches back where we can, can see them. Um, all right, so my experience was with it. Very, very comfortable. I've actually worn all three of the watches, uh, each of them one day and one of them I wore two days. So quite a bit of experience there. Sits nicely on the wrist, uh, only strays maybe a quarter inch or so. Bracelet's very comfortable. Uh, the winding, proper, proper amount of uh, tension resistance. We'll unscrew this again, show the, the red. And then when you wind it, it's just, it feels perfect. It's, it's really nice. Setting the time is easy. So we do that. There is about one sixth to one seventh of a rotation before it engages the hands. Nothing bad, but I just wanna make sure you know that. Setting the date is very uh, precise. Get it so you can see that. Well, first of all, sorry, there's the GMT hand, and then going backwards is the date. And you can see it snaps right into place and is easy to read, so, so that's awesome. Uh, turning the bezel, again, it feels good. I love how it clicks. It is a little bit harder to grasp than I would like, but it feels really, really good. Um, nice, distinct clicks, all the good stuff there. Putting on, taking it off, very easy. It's sized a little bit large for my eight and a quarter inch wrist. Uh, see, I just saw that red warning thing and it reminded me to screw in the crown. So I think you'd be safe up to about an eight and a half inch wrist with the, the bracelet that comes with it. Um, I would say the, the crown again could be a little bit better on the grips on that. So there's that. That's pretty much the only two things that I would say could be improved is the grip on the crown and the grip on the bezel. If I had to totally nitpick it, um, I would say the date is a little on the small side, trying to read it. Now, some people like that. Some people don't like to have a Cyclops there, uh, but it is a little bit on the small side. And then the bezel and the chapter ring don't align perfectly on each watch. It did on one, but on uh, one of the others, it wasn't perfectly aligned. But I wanna really spend the rest of my time on what makes this unique and what I love. And I've done several reviews now, and I'll just tell you, this watch has so much that I love. The dial looks great. The loom is absolutely amazing. The Easy Glide micro adjustable clasp that we looked at, that's really cool for easy on the fly uh, adjustments. Oh, I also hadn't even mentioned yet, it's anti-magnetic, and it is four times the ISO 764 standards. It actually has a soft iron Faraday cage that keeps magnetic interference away from the movement. So you're not gonna have to worry about your movement getting magnetized uh, near as easily as, as most watches. Uh, the open crown indicator, designed and fully assembled in the USA. The GMT mirror hand, which I love that, how it comes clear across. That makes it really nice to, to uh, see what time it is in both 24 hour and 12 hour time. The GMC offset direction indicator here, where you can screw it either way you want or turn it any way you want to make up for time zones. Uh, the ability to track five tone time zones and, and then that unidirectional bezel with that ball bearing feel when it just snaps into place. So this is one of those watches that I really enjoyed reviewing and has so much going for it. Uh, and honestly, I had to look pretty hard to find anything that could be improved. So this uh, has a value at $1,295. It was a little bit over $1,400 when it came out. So they are a little bit uh, more affordable now than they were. Uh, I think you get a lot of bang for your buck with this watch. Uh, thank you for watching. Please put your comments below. If there's something I did not cover, please let me know. And you'd be doing me a huge favor if you would uh, subscribe, comment, and like. Thank you so much. Happy collecting and have a great evening.